Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you something new. I normally show 10 millimeter and 28 millimeter and uh, 135 scale plastic soldiers. Today, we're going to take a look at two millimeter 3D printed armies. So, let's get started. First step, we'll go with this base here. These are cavalry. I don't know if you can, how well you can see that, but these are cavalry troops. A squad. And I've tried to paint these up to resemble um, U.S. Army cavalry troops of the late 1890s. So my, my plan with these forces here not only are to use them for like horse and musket, but also some Victorian sci-fi, some steampunk stuff, as you can see from those elements. So thought about doing my own little fictional Spanish-American war, leaving out the steampunk elements, but just having U.S. forces against the European Spanish there in Cuba. Next up, this will be the commanding general of the division, a major general, and his entourage. I'd imagine that's them up here. Their horses are being kept by a couple soldiers there. You can see that. The general and his staff. Big round base to show command. Skirmisher battalion. Artillery, 30 guns, U.S. infantry, and these could also be American Civil War. You can see the little flags I've tried to paint. A two millimeter, all you have to have is some subtle hints. Smaller command. This would be a brigadier general or a regimental colonel, depending on how you wanted to scale things operation wise. There'd be the one star and his staff, or the colonel and his staff, and two soldiers holding the horses back here in the back. All these models I picked up, except for the steampunk stuff, I picked up from Forward March Studios. You can find all these models for sale on, on uh, his store on Gumroad. I'll put a link down below in the description. All of them were 3D printed on an Ender 3. Next up, we'll go with a, a steampunk tank here. Big old steam dome. Here's one I painted. Even, maybe even do some Martian invasion or perhaps the Earth uh, punitive expedition to Mars to retaliate. I've always been fascinated by the steampunk and the Victorian sci-fi and the colonial period. Probably thanks to that uh, movie Zulu that came out in the 60s. I saw it in the 70s as a kid. Fell in love with it. 70s or 80s one. I painted these models up, to, or these uh, soldiers up to be European infantry. Let's look at the airship here. This is a uh, gardening wire, or excuse me, a decorative flower wire. And I hot glued it to the base and to the model. Perfect little airship. For Splendid Little Wars. This one didn't turn out so good. And also bear in mind, I printed these years ago. And when I was still relatively new to 3D printing, I could probably do better results today. But I'm pretty happy with it. I 
And that's the cool thing about Ford Mark Studios and their um, models. You also get terrain as well as the troops. I forgot what this is. Um, I mean, it's obviously a walker. Um, but I got it off Thingiverse. I believe it's supposed to be a German steampunk walker. I have several others. Here's another airship. Or you could also make it a naval ship. Probably be better suited for a naval vessel rather than an airship. Here's another, another one. You see the supports are still attached. See how easy that was to remove? Just some minor cleanup. Yeah, there's some great things you can do with an FDM printer. Print your armies, your models, your minis, as well as your terrain. Let's see, let's take this plastic and throw it away. Here's how the troops print. Print blocks at a time. Here's some bridges. Towered bridges. There's also block housing. All printed on the FDM printer. This was printed on a Monoprice uh, MP Mini. Another steampunk element. A submarine type airship. Another walker. And yes, the supports are still on. I haven't moved them yet. Anyway, some great looking little two millimeter troops. You know, at two millimeter scale, you know, everything's pretty abstract, and these are great. Um, you can print out as many as you want. Uh, you, Ford March Studios provides you with a huge assortment of models. When you make the purchase, you get the entire library for this particular set, and it's, it's awesome. I also think he's also venturing into doing some uh, ancients now. I could be wrong on that, but I, th I believe he is. I haven't checked up with him in quite a while. Uh, I'm also behind on posting my videos. I'm <clears throat> in the process of a career change, uh, maybe buying a business. So I don't know. More on that later. But great little models. Print all you want. Uh, you can play on a small table. You can do a one foot by one foot uh, green uh, felt battlefield if you wanted put some of these down and play some really cool games like one hour war games simple roll a die that's how much damage you did that's how many hits the enemy unit took so forth and so on uh, they're great so this this goes a long way towards scratching a lot of itches um, you can save a lot of money going with smaller scale a lot of space you can store these really easy store a huge army real simple anyway thank you for watching if you can please drop me a simple like down below you guys have a great day subscribe for more plastic soldiers bye bye